Hey, morning guys. Boy Pedro here again this morning. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how I clean my house during this ash season. Well, um, what I use is simple paper tissue, paper towel, whatever you want to call it. I prefer to use the paper because when you finish with this, you throw it in the garbage. When you use the cloth towel, you have to wash it out. And when you wash it out, then you have problems with plugging your pipes and stuff like that. So what I use is just simple paper tissue. And it's very cheap, reasonable. I just put the, um, the sweet scent house cleaning stuff not calling no names and they would just wipe down with mirrors now the reason that these are not as dirty is because these get clean every day between my wife and I so remember guys it's easy to use the paper tissue As when this is finished, you can just throw away this. So, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna go over now to the kitchen, to the bathroom sink, and you're gonna just wipe right round. Just wipe. You know, clean off the. It's also you can also wipe off the pipe. Make sure it's, you know, just take some of the dust off. As I say, if you clean every day, it will becomes a lot. It will become a lot easier. So you just wipe. We right are wrong. Some more tissues I have here to use. I just wipe the whole side. Wait, 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 wrong. You clean. And the reason why this isn't as dusty is because, as I say, I clean every day just to keep this, the dust down. If you live um, like where I live, around trees, um, it's best something to keep wearing your mask, especially inside the house because the ash is on the trees and it's not going nowhere. Soon as far as I can tell. So let me wait to count it, this um, stand down. Notice I'm still have I'm still using the one tissue and it's not as dirty because like I said, me and my wife we clean every every day. So we just I wait put here. I wait, I wait put here ready, but just to show you guys. See it's not that dirty. I'm just doing this to show you guys, but we all of this is wipe already. But you know, you could wipe it five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, and then you can still come back and find some ash, so some dust. So you just keep wiping, and this is the same, and this is the same one piece I started with, and it's still good to go. So you just go wipe off. You know, you try to it's like dusting in the softer doors because stuff this this stuff gets in everything and gets on everything so, so you just wipe down guys just wipe down use the use the hand tissue use the paper towel I find the paper towel does a really good job so you just wait and what we did is we took the bath mats off the ground because it makes no sense having to wash them every day so we wash them in the dry put them in a bag and we would put a we usually put a towel on the ground um, 
but mostly outside the door. So just to wipe off your feet and stuff. And if I'm cleaning, and when I'm washing up the towels, because these old towels, I will put them on the line outside, and I will use the hose and wash down, because that's just over the lawn. So the ash goes to the lawn again. As I said, we don't use no washing down with this ash. We try to keep the ash from getting into the pipe system. We don't flush it down the toilet, we don't wash out stuff in the pipes, in the sink. Because if you do that and the ash build up in your pipe, then you have another problem. And that costs you more money, more money. The paper tissue is very cheap. You use it, you throw it away in your garbage, and you throw it away. When you're doing your guttering, um, if you have your guttering running to, to your water tank, or, well, a water tank, it's best to take out a part of that guttering and clean that guttering properly. Because trust me, you're gonna have some stuff in that, gutter, in that guttering. This morning I went up the ladder and I was cleaning off a small little piece of guttering that I have on the side of the house. And it was like cement. I had to get a small little shovel and shovel it up before I could actually clean it out. So I took it down and then I took it on the grass and I, pulled, I sprayed it down with some water. Because as I said, do it where there's no pipe that it will be running in your pipe. Just do it at the end um, on grass by a tree. When you're going to wash out your brooms and your stuff that you use to clean, take them outside and wash them out on the lawn or on the tree. Do not wash them where your pipes will be affected because if you do that and the ash, it will build up in your piping and it will block your pipes. So don't do that guys. When it's dry, try to sweep it up as much as possible. Don't sweep it from here to bridge down. Sweep it and heap it, sweep it and heap it, then take it up. And then you can use a nice dry mop, especially inside the house, you can use a dry mop and you can mop it off, take the mop outside and rinse it out. It's better for you to do the hard work now than to block up your plumbing and then you have to pay some person, a professional person to come and redo your drainage or your plumbing. So then again guys, this is just supposed to be a short video to show you guys how I deal, how I clean my house with just hand tissues, paper, hand tissues. No cloth, because they don't want to wash anything to have to go into the drain. So then again guys, this is your boy Pedro. Follow me on YouTube, Pedro Richards. Um, share, subscribe, like, follow, hit the notice button. Share with your friends also. Okay guys, bye, I'm out.